G'day guys, so I want to talk a little bit about lithium batteries and what you're buying when you're actually buying a pre-made battery. Now, I picked up a lot of different batteries, secondhand, broken, recycled, um, including a bunch of Milwaukee, AEG, Makita. And we actually started the channel pulling apart Makita batteries. It was one of the first videos ever on the channel. And I've noticed some things over the years that just uh, are a bit of a shock. And this one, this one came as a bit of a shock to me. So this is an SSB Power Sport. Um, these aren't exactly a cheap battery. A motorbike start battery for like a 600 to 1100 cc motorbike. Now, specs are up the top here. 180 cold cranking amps at 12 volts. There's the model number, so you can go and have a look, see what they actually cost yourself. From I did look it up once. I think it was like 250 300 bucks for this little start battery. 1.5 amp standard charge and 15 amp maximum charge. So it doesn't like charging fast. And if you know a bit about lithium batteries, that's a bit of a red flag. It doesn't actually give you a amp power rating. No. Maximum recharging voltage is 14.6 or 8, 6, 14.6 volts. Now, when it doesn't give you an amp rating, that's a bit upsetting. The cold cranking number is just that. It's only a cold crank number. 12-month warranty. Look, if it's a motorbike battery, the chances of you having to cover a warranty are pretty slim, I guess. Um, within 12 months, you buy the battery, get it home, put it in your bike, ride it during summer, don't ride it much during winter, whatever. It's probably not going to be an issue. Let me show you what goes on inside this little thing. Are you ready for the grand reveal? Yep, that's it. Just some light in here. So that little pack of pouch cells down in there that are Sikaflexed or polyurethaned in. That's it. You get a BMS, which is a 4S BMS. So you count your BMS wires if you're trying to figure out, figure out what a battery is. Start at your black wire, and you'll have all your positives. And it gives us four wires, it's a four cell battery. Look up here, this was, BMS was manufactured in 2012, 7th month, 30th day is what I'd be assuming. There's your little BMS board. There's your wide open, poorly soldered terminals. your bolt-on terminals at the top of your battery. So obviously they made them to the universal in fitment. And that's it. So like if you had to do the maths on it, the case would be less than five dollars, the BMS would be a couple of dollars, the cables would be a couple of dollars, like how much actual value is there? Maybe say twenty dollars for the lithium cell. So it does. It's a bit hard to tell because it's so blown up and puffed up, like it's going to explode. It's like probably double the size it should be. So it's probably only probably about the height of the motorbike down. Is where I'd probably place it size wise. Bit of foam, bit, bit of polyurethane. Like, if you're gonna make a box this big, you might as well make a battery that's this big. I know they've made it to fit a certain size hole in a motorbike, but you need this to start your motorbike. Like, 
that could be no more so it's four in series so it could be no more than like a four or five amp hour battery that's a really really low amount of watt hours like yeah 70 odd watt hours 80 watt hours that's not long with your uh, ignition on because remember most motorbikes pretty sure for the last 20 plus years as soon as you turn them on the headlight comes on a lot of them are efi now so there's a fuel pump and ignition system stuff and tail lights and all that kind of rubbish you've got loads like yeah i would be i'd be upset with this it is con considered an ultra light but even if that was full of lipo cells to the size of the battery it'd still be half the weight of a um normal battery you'd actually be getting something for your value it's just uh, just poor form really i just don't understand some of these companies are punching out products that are really subpar and they're not they're not five bucks like if it was a hundred dollar lithium start battery and they were making it for 25 bucks yeah that's kind of a fair ratio same story with like these milwaukee batteries I've had a heap of dead ones of these. This is only a 1.5 amp hour. And this is probably a long-term survivor, but effectively, there's some injection molded plastic. It's three 18650s. Now, when you're Milwaukee and you buy an 18650s from Samsung, I believe the cells are in this one. Like, you're not going to be paying much for a mayor. You're going to be having a meeting and Writing them a purchase order for five to ten million cells, probably. Like for example, just these this style of Milwaukee battery alone, I've probably got ten plus of them. That's before you step up to the the bigger um, twelve volt cells, which have got six cells in them. So like, you know, I'm just one person. There's lots of people out there that have got these in their jackets and all their portable electronics. The quality is just not there. It's really upsetting the profit margins. When I believe like the cheapest of these M12 batteries is like an $85 battery. And I know you've got to pay for R&D and stuff, and China doesn't pay for R&D. China just pinches stuff. But yeah. I've got nothing against Chinese companies doing that. At the end of the day... It is a free market, do what you will. But, um, yeah, it's just a shame that there's not some more quality out there. There should be more people pulling things apart and kind of highlighting the lack of quality. Now this thing, here's the M12BI, the uh, cordless inflator. Like the piston in that thing sounds like it's going to exit the building. It sounds horrific, the piston in there. I don't know if you've ever seen those little car compressors, the little cigarette lighter socket car compressor motors. And basically they've got a tiny little DC brushed universal motor with a small crank, small piston and a crappy cast aluminium thing that's on a um, half decent size gear reduction. Yeah, little motor's probably doing Three and a half thousand revs, pumps probably doing under a thousand, and they just sound like they're going to explode. Why would you put your name on something that was like that? Yes, it's a convenient little form factor and all that, but it just sounds like it's going to grenade. It doesn't inspire confidence for me to spend, you know, 120 Australian dollars, 150 or whatever they were, I can't even remember, on it. When you're going to put the cheapest pump you can put in there. Especially when we know that they've got good quality pumps as well because they use them in their nail guns and the um, sewer drain unblocker machine. Seems much more heavy duty, much more healthy sounding. Anyway, rant about the quality of things over. Thanks for watching anyhow. That's a uh, SBB Power Sport Lithium. If you've got one of them in your motorbike and you really like your motorbike, 
uh, puts a bit of fear in me seeing that cell all blown up like that. As I said, it's probably nearly double its size. So might try and cut that out one day, see what it actually is. We'll open it up. It's uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a bit of a job to get it out of that goo because I imagine it's gooed at the bottom as well. So we might have to cut the case open. Thanks for watching. Catch us on the next video. There'll be an update on the uh, LG Chem batteries shortly. We have currently got 10 kilowatt hours in service. Catch you on the next video.